Hey everybody, welcome to Chad's Trains and Things. And this be the introductory video for a new little build I got going on. I'm gonna do, kind of show you around. Got it just set up on a table. Two foot by four foot table, and that's what this layout's gonna be. The two foot by four foot. I think I got kind of the basic track plane going on. Go around. I may order some Balkman assortments just so I can stretch it out and it's a little bit off so I'll need that to get it all worked out right but a couple pieces I can stretch that a little bit longer but that's what I'm going to do I got all kinds of extra Balkman tracks so I figured I'd just use that over buying track and put it in the siding coming off I may mess with the just just for some kind of industry so I can park maybe a car under it edit but yeah you can see Thomas any and Claire Bell just circling around right now so I'm just testing Little things I'm thinking about is this keeping the track here, power here, like that. Because I do got under the solder. I think this would be better if I bring the places for people to see. To see, hey, this is what you get in a starter set. So and it can work. I'll drill when I actually build the wood, drill holes, power it, but leave that so they can see that they can use these still. And it gives you a reroller too for if my little nephew is running trains or anything. But yeah. I think I pretty much got what I can do. And like I said, I'm gonna use this for like shows if we ain't setting up the T the, the T track layout for the club. Or if it's something we just plan on bringing the O scale layout to, I can set this up and run it also. And bring just using Balkman. If I keep this and using this plug, I can bring the basic DCC if I want to and plug into it to run DCC on it. Most likely it'll just be DC. You can see these are a couple of DC UP engines I just testing on it. Just using the 11 and a quarter inch Bachman curves. So just smaller stuff running. Maybe a little bit on the edge, but I think it worked great. And if I end up using it in May at the Truesdale Railroad Days, I'm actually probably gonna like build trees and do little tutorials too on how to do stuff for people on it, just like a build. But I figured as we build this, I'd take you along with me, step by step on what I do, building it everything else but like I said this is just the introductory so stay tuned for what I'm gonna call part one where you getting the wood and actually building the two by four module and getting everything ready and getting all this set up and once I have it down I am gonna solder the track and I'm not gonna lie probably on the opposite side I'll probably will solder some jumpers down to it to power that way I get power on both sides just because I think it'll work better and it'll show people I can use that too to show other ways of power and stuff for people but yeah, let's just follow Thomas around for a few minutes and that's going to do it. As always, thanks for watching. Crush that like button if you haven't already. It helps the YouTube rhythm. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed and comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new little two foot by four foot in scale layout that's going to be built. Bye for now.